Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Teresa Crawley with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I have to show you one of my favorite units, which is the Winnebago Navion. This is a floor plan 24V. But what's different about this one is it's used. And the crazy thing is it's hardly used. I don't know if they just drove it home and drove it back or changed their mind or what happened in this situation, but we've only got about 1,250 miles on this unit. Stickers on the appliances. I mean, this thing is new, but you're getting it for a used price. So let me show you some of the things I love so much about the Winnebago Navion. First off, it's 25 and a half feet long in total. This is built on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. So 188 horsepower, six cylinder turbo diesel engine. Drives great. It's very agile, easy to park in spots that you can't fit the bigger motorhomes in. It also has all of the amenities that you could need and sleeps six people. I think that's just awesome. We can fit a whole family in here and some grandkids. So um, first sleeping spot is of course gonna be over the drivers. And I love how Winnebago does this. They have a privacy curtain that comes across, reading lights and windows that open for cross ventilation up there. Um, but it's a really big bed. I'm not gonna call it a double because it's actually curved toward the front, but it is a very good size bed. Two adults can easily sleep there. Um, when you're done with that bed, you can just put this ladder right away here. It snaps into place and it won't be rattling and making noise as you're going down the road. But the other great thing that Winnebago does is they make this really, really easy to put that bed piece away. So when you're driving, you have a really nice light space above you. You don't feel claustrophobic in that area. Um, you might notice that there was a little pad back here. This is actually a booster seat for these front seats. And I have one of these on display here um, with this seat that's turned around. So if you are using this as a living area or sitting area, both of these seats will move around. Um, and then you can put that booster pad on there so that you can sit comfortably and have a social area with your family and friends. So next sleeping area is actually gonna be this sofa. And this does come out to be a double bed. Um, very comfortable for two adults to sleep on and easy to put away when it's time um, to have a living area again. Um, you might notice that these silver things on the floor um, that is an optional place to put a table and I'll show you where that table is stowed away um, when we get to the back closet area. But again, it's secured away in a way that it doesn't make noise as you're going down the road. Love that. Um, in this living area, we have some storage right above here. And in that, you'll see there's a curtain there that's privacy for the back bedroom. And then you have all your manuals stowed away here. The important thing to see about this though is that these are carpeted with a thick felt um, kind of a carpet in here and that's going to help with vibration, noise, to help things to not move around as you're going down the road. A sign of a higher end coach and then you'll see that this handle that I just used pushes in and it becomes a lock for when you are in travel mode and then it's not going to be able to fly open and all your stuff fly out. So this coach has upgraded windows. These are dual pane acrylic windows. I love these windows because they can be opened at different stages. So if you just want a little bit of fresh air, you can do that. Say it's raining outside, you just want some of that cool air in, but you don't want the water in, you can do that. But you can also open these up to a 90 degree angle if you so choose. And then they just come back down like that lock into place and again these aren't noisy and rattly as you're going down the road but the other clever thing is that they have an integrated screen here and integrated full darkening shade that comes up from the bottom and you'll see these throughout the coach there's one in the kitchen area bedroom area etc as we go through we also have some lights under here so if you wanted to do some reading or hanging out at night and then of course we have some usb um, plugins up there Moving around, we'll see that we're entering into the kitchen area. 
Um, they do put the TV here with a really nice sound bar so you can watch it from that couch area or from those front seats, even from that bed that's over the driver. This TV comes out too. So it can be a little bit of an angled viewing if you so choose. And behind it, there's a little bit of a secret area. We have our DVD player, as well as a paper towel holder, place to plug in um, USBs again, or if there happens to be cable at the park you're at, you can also utilize that. And then over here, we of course have your kitchen sink, but you have a two-sided kitchen sink here one for washing, one for rinsing. On the opposite side of these covers, you'll see it's bamboo, so you could actually use these as a cutting board as well. We have a nice pull-out sprayer here as well. A lot of extra features you don't see on the lower end coaches. Under the sink here, we have a lot of storage area. I love that they didn't try to block off the pipes and things like that, so you get a little bit of extra room there. You also will see there's some water filters that are laying down here. That's because it's cold right now and we have the unit winterized. Um, but those are gonna filter that water that's coming into this faucet so it tastes good and you're not getting icky water no matter where you're parked. Over here, we have a convection microwave oven. So you can bake in here and crisp. And then we have two choices here. So we have an induction cooktop, and then we do have a propane burner as well. You can use these both at the same time or just choose one or the other. If you're low on battery or if you're low on propane, you would obviously wanna choose the other one, but it's nice that they gave you both options. Um, here, we have three of these really nice drawers. And what I love about them, one, they're full extension. Two, they light up when you open them. And three, they have a soft close feature. So they'll just pull themselves in when they're done. Love that. Over here, we have a really good size freezer and refrigerator. So try to get out of your way so you can get a good look at this. But plenty of room to go camping. Again, I don't think this unit was ever used. It's a mystery to me, but either way. Um, here we have the control for your Cummins Onan diesel generator. Um, it's a 3200. This is an upgrade. And I'll, honestly, I think this coach has every upgrade possible and that's one of them. Um, this is your holding tank heater. Um, so it's just basically a heat pad that goes on that tank. Um, to help it to not freeze, say you're up skiing or something like that. This is your slide room control uh, tank levels here. So when you're inside the coach, you can see if you have water in your tanks, you need to go dump, you need to fill, etc. You can also turn your water pump on and check your battery level there as well. Um, this coach comes equipped with two solar panels and this is the controller for that, just to show you what's coming in um, on those solar panels, how your batteries are doing there and then your inverter controller is right there. So in a convenient spot. Then we have the bathroom area right here. I'm gonna let my camera guy step by me so that I can open the door and get in there with him. But you'll see this door opens really wide. So it's easy to get in from either side, just not for both of us at the same time. <laughs> so little sink area. We have a good size medicine cabinet, a fantastic fan, which is gonna work like an attic fan and suck the air out um, really quickly. So it'll help with all that steam when you're taking a shower. They did include a sunroof. So for our taller folks, you can actually fit in there. And you will see there's a pole in there. That is really just for drying clothes or hanging things. Um, it pops right out. So don't worry, it's not gonna be in the middle of your shower while you're trying to shower. And then one just little extra thing that Winnebago did that I love is they made these little towel hold holders right on the door. So they just click right into place, really easy to use and out of your way. Now this coach does have a tankless water heater. It's considered, or it's called the Truma Aquago. So as much water as you have, it can be hot water. 
really nice for taking a shower when you have somebody that just took a shower right before you. You don't have to wait an hour for that tank to heat back up. Um, we're about to step into the master bedroom area. And this is what really makes this floor plan unique. This is two twin beds that become a king when it's all put together. So I'll show you that when we get to that. But on either side of the bed, we have little hanging storage. And as promised, I said I would show you where the table and the stand for the table go, and that is it. So again, when you're driving, you're not gonna hear that rattling or being annoying, but it's there when you need it. Very easy to assemble. So on this side, this can be a hanging closet or you can choose to use it for shelving, it's up to you. And then all the way around the bed, you'll see we have storage. So I'll open these up for you. Again, these have that really nice felt carpeting in there. And these are gonna be mirrored on the other side. So I'm sure you can imagine exactly what those are gonna be like. And I can show you some of the things that are here for when you're laying in bed at night. So up here, we have these really nice reading lights. They're nice and blue so that you don't wake up your partner who's also trying to sleep. We have USB chargers and um, 110 plugins on either side here. And then we have these really great drop down baskets. So you can put some stuff, you know, that you would normally want to put in a nightstand, but maybe your phone, um, things like that can go in this little basket above your head so you can reach it easily if this bed's all put together. Um, we do have, of course, the emergency exit window, but the other two windows are exactly like the one I showed you in that living area. They can open at different stages and um, have that integrated screen and full darkening. And then I can show you down here we have drawers under either side. So here's the other side. But more importantly, we have this really great bed situation. Very, very easy to put this into place when you're ready to go to bed. So I think I did that upside down, but I think you can get the idea there that you're gonna put these two pieces into place and then you have your cake size bed. and I should have pushed that down a little bit better when I was back there but I think you get the picture it's a huge bed you have the choice to put it together or not because really you could both sleep on the opposite sides and then have your puppy in between you that's what I would be doing and then these just come right back out easy peasy So moving to the front of the coach, we have a really great driving area, very, very comfortable. Of course, it's a Mercedes. It does have the upgraded ultra leather on the seats up here. It would have come standard with a black kind of a pebbled leather from um, Mercedes, but this was an upgrade to match the furniture in the back of the coach. So up here, we have a really big navigation screen. This does have, um, the Hey Mercedes app, which she's gonna ask me how she can help me, and I can ask her to navigate. I can ask her to change the radio station, the temperature, etc. I also have the ability to do navigation in here really easily, and it'll talk to me as I go down the road. And then of course, phone, radio. Works pretty well, I was trying it out earlier. And then we have info, which is gonna give you a lot of info on the coach itself. Um, right now it doesn't wanna work for me because I don't have the ignition on, but operator's manual is even included in here. So if you were to have a problem going down the road, you could get that pulled up really easily. This also is gonna function as your backup camera. So that's what it sounds like when the engine is running. It's got a really nice quiet purr to it. Easy to use controls here on our fans, things like that. Obviously a push button start. 
and then we have a lot of great features right here on the steering wheel so I don't have to look away to get these things going. So if I wanted to see um, my fuel consumption, uh, things like that, I can do that really easily. Also my cr uh, cruise control is right here on these buttons. So to me, the more that's on this column and I don't have to look away to do any of this stuff, that's gonna keep me a lot safer. Um, Right here, we actually have your transmission. So reverse up, and actually I'm gonna show you the reverse because I want you to see this camera here. So when I push it into reverse, you can immediately see what's going on behind you. Um, if you happen to be towing a vehicle, which this can handle um, 5,000 pounds quite easily, you can see that really easily and you can actually change the perspective of this camera as well. So if you wanna see a little bit broader, you can change it to that as well. Um, when you're ready to park, you just push park. Then you also have shifters right here. I don't know if you can see those. Um, there's a little plus and a minus here, but that's what those are too. Say you're going up a mountain or something like that, you wanna be able to shift. Um, we do have some storage space with plugins up here. And I don't know who needs this many cup holders, but boy, you've got options in this coach. We've got two on either side here and here and then two here and here and then uh, one in the door as well so if you like to have a coffee and a water and a tea and all the things at once then this is the coach for you i love it um, we obviously had that push button start powered windows powered mirrors here as well and then we do have heat for the seat as well as um, a, an electric door or excuse me seats up here and that's on both sides. These tip back, um, obviously go back and things like that, but they also have memory here so you can set for three different positions and they're heated as well. So really a luxury um, front end here. Pretty much everything that you could need, including an SOS button up here in case you had an emergency happen. So, as we head out the door, I want you to notice um, Winnebago improved this door a couple years ago and they did a fantastic job. It's not noisy, it doesn't rattle a bunch, um, and it has an integrated blind here. So another thing to not be making noise as you're going down the road. This door does not hit the outside of the coach as well. I've seen so many coaches that don't have a way to stop itself and they actually put a hole in the side of the motorhome. So they did figure that out and make it to work really well for you. And we also have a screen uh, that's integrated in here already for you. Love that. Now on the way out the door, we have um, your EQ Smart Level Leveling System. Now you can use this with your Apple or Samsung or Bluetooth. Um, you can just hit power also and then auto level and it'll level right for you. And then when it's time to go, I'll retract. Very simple to use and very nice for when it's a windy day or you're walking around and the coach is just wanting to move around a lot. Super nice to have that. Down here, we have a chassis disconnect. That used to be really hard to get to. We have a coach disconnect. We also have a way to turn off your steps. So say you're going in and out of the door a lot, it's, that step's gonna wanna go in and out, in and out, in and out. You can turn that off so you're not doing that. And then your awning control right here. I'm gonna hit that and put it out so we can be under the shade for this video. And then of course you have an awning light there as well. Ah, oh, what a wonderful place to be able to hang out. So you'll notice this has a really beautiful full body paint here. Full body paint is a really nice upgrade to have. Um, if you didn't have this option, you would have what's called decals. They're basically stickers. And when it gets hot and cold, they are gonna shrink and crack and fade. I'm sure you've seen trailers and, and motorhomes that have the decals on them and they just look really rough. Even after a year of sun exposure, this full body paint is never gonna do that. So it's gonna help hold your resale value um, and just give you a really beautiful coach to have. 
Under here you'll see the first of our storage bays. This is uh, made out of a plastic and I like this because they put a drain in here so that you could rinse it out if you needed to. You're going to want to close that when you're driving, of course, to keep wind noise down, but it's just a nice thing to have. We've got dual tires in the back here. A propane quick connect right here that feeds directly out of your propane tank. So what that's going to do is give you the ability to plug in a barbecue grill out here. Down here, this is that quiet diesel generator I was telling you about. Now that diesel is gonna pull directly out of your fuel tank. So, sorry about that. There we go. Okay, a really nice long storage area. We do have a light in here as well. So you can see what you're doing. And there is another access port from the back of the coach that I'll show you in a moment. and another storage bay there. On the back of the coach here, we do have a ladder included. Your backup camera is located right there. And then we do have that tow hitch or right there with the ability to plug it in right there if you needed that, your seven-way pin. And again, that's a 5,000 pound towing hitch. Right here, that's the other access to that really nice long storage area here. And this sunlight here can, is showing a lot better perspective of what this paint really looks like. This is kind of a dark burgundy color. It's really beautiful in the sun. Just a little bit of a shimmer without being obnoxious. Over here, this is the back of that Truma Aqua Go system. Then here we have your 30 amp plug-in cord, as well as your outdoor shower, um, water inlet, and things like that for your water system, tank fill. Your gray um, dump is gonna be underneath here. Another place to put in some water here. This is actually a water tank, so I can't open it. Um, but that's just what's back there. And remember that did have a heat pad on that to keep it safe and protected from the cold. Here we have a black waste tank flush, which is really nice for keeping it fresh and clean in there. Over here we have another tank, so there's not much to see, but also your black waste dump is right there, just so you know. here we've got your propane tank and the mechanism for your slide. Oops. One little thing that Winnebago does that I think is kind of cute is they add these steps but on them they put these little places so you can attach your pet so they don't run off when you're outside having fun. I just think that's really smart for for the critters in our lives. And then on the front end of the Mercedes here, there's not too much exciting to see, but they do make it quite easy for you to check tanks and things like that. So I'll just pop this down for you. We'll just, let's see, there we go. So what I wanted you to see is that your DEF is easy to access, um, your oil to check that, things like that. This is your air intake and then other things in here that you can just get into your washer fluid, et cetera. So they make a really nice, clean, comprehensive um, front end for you. A little step here so that you can get up and clean your windshield really easily as well. 
So that's the basics of this Winnebago Navion. Again, this is the 24V floor plan, V as in Victor. There are two other floor plans. So if this one's not perfect for you, we've got other ones for you as well. And I'd be more than happy to help you with those. Um, also, I can send you the spec sheet on this one so you can have exact tank measurements and things like that. But please ask for me by name. I'm Teresa Crawley at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado.